Hello and welcome. I'm Mark Lassoff, your instructor. I'm so glad you're here. We're about to embark on a pretty exciting mission, learning programming. This video is brought to you by Abby Pies Academy. I've designed this course to give you exposure to the major types of programming done today. The course isn't designed to be a deep dive into a particular skill set but a programming course that teaches the fundamentals of different types of development. You'll be completing some of the same tasks that professional programmers do every day. When you've completed the course, you'll have made a website and optimized it for desktop and mobile environments. You'll have learned the basic structures common to all programming languages and environments using a language called Python. You'll then apply that knowledge to developing full applications that live on the web and are tied to a database. You may have heard the term full stack developer, which certainly applies to the skills we'll be learning here. Finally, in the culminating part of the course, you'll learn to create mobile apps that can be deployed to iPhone, iPad, Android, and Windows-based devices. I know all this probably sounds a bit ambitious, which is why this course isn't just made up of video lectures, but also practical activities in which you'll be writing code yourself and seeing it run. The course itself introduces you to a number of different languages and technologies. I chose to use several languages to give you a broader and more complete perspective of the programming field. In the first part of the course, we'll use HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's a language used to structure any content displayed to the user. It's a great place to start in that it's easy to learn, but lets you accomplish quite a bit very quickly. HTML content is typically displayed in a web browser, like Google Chrome or Firefox, but it also can be displayed in mobile applications. It's almost impossible to develop applications today without using HTML. There are several versions of HTML in use today, and they're really not that different from each other. We'll be using HTML5, which is the current standard for development. Now, while you'll write code in HTML, strictly speaking, it's a markup language, not a programming language. The first programming language we'll touch is Python. I really love Python, and so will you. Python is a great beginner's language that has all the structures common to most modern languages. By using Python, you'll actually learn to program and deal with everything from input-output to working with collections of data. With Python, you'll write your first interactive programs. It's not just a learning language, but a language that's used by professional programmers every day for everything from game development to enterprise server management. We'll actually use Python to write an internet chat client. We'll also learn how to make Python interact with larger web applications and function as the back end of a website. Since Python handles the back end server related tasks in a web application, we'll need a language for the front end as well. And that's where JavaScript comes in. JavaScript is quite possibly the most important language you'll learn within the program. JavaScript is used within the browser to interact with the user. It's the language behind effects like rollovers and pull down menus but perhaps most importantly, it's used to communicate with servers and obtain information. JavaScript will also be the primary language we use when creating mobile apps towards the end of the course. JavaScript is very flexible, and I think you'll enjoy using it quite a bit. That's it for the major languages we'll touch in the course. You'll also get exposure to a few libraries, which are pre-written functions in the languages we just discussed. For example, we use JSON to transmit data, and PhoneGap to work with mobile hardware. Don't feel too overwhelmed. Take each language as it's presented to you, and you'll realize very quickly the similarities between languages and how they build upon each other. Okay, so are you ready? Let's dig in.